Robinhood has just added more technical indicators that you can use for your own trading and investing. We're going to cover what those indicators are, how to access them, and more here in this video coming right up. Welcome on into the TC Trading Channel, guys. We do videos just like this, tutorials, all this great stuff twice a week at a minimum here on the channel. Make sure you are subscribed and hit that thumbs up button if you want to see more videos like this. But right now we are looking on Robinhood on the web platform. It's going to be very similar on your mobile device. The platform right here on the web version is actually pretty much catered the same exact way, just on a bigger screen. So I figure we do this video here because it's a little bit easier to see, but the same idea will apply on your mobile device and you'll pretty much be able to access the same thing uh, just in a smaller format. So you pick a stock, step one, and then you're going to dive into the advanced chart. Now they've had this, some of you may not already be familiar, but they've been expanding this. And it makes sense because there's a lot of platforms out there like a TD Ameritrade, like a Webull, even like a trading view that have a lot more where that came from. So Robinhood users are, are finding themselves going to other platforms to do, do their charting before they make their trades and investments on the platform. So Robinhood's like, well, we want to keep them on our platform. Let's give them more features and they're rolling it out. So I'm going to go to the advanced right here. I have SPY, the S&P 500 ETF pulled up. I'm going to go to advanced. Oh my goodness. What the hell is this? Now we have a lot to choose from and a lot of indicators that we can pull up on our charts and customize. First things first, up in the top right, you can go ahead and actually trade SPY. Let me just adjust this really quick. You can go ahead and trade SPY right here. Enter your market order. It's going to be very similar to your order entry that we just saw on the, pa on the last page if you want to do so after looking at the charts. You have the chart across the middle of the screen. I haven't touched it really or edited this uh, much at all. But what first things first, uh, you'll want to go up to the top right and change this from line to candlesticks if you want. You don't have to, but I like looking at candlesticks. Uh, and that is a feature that is available here on Robinhood and you can, you can do so. Now, when you do so and you start hovering on the chart, look on the left-hand side. So where it says indicators underneath that, if I get off the chart, you see it says price, MAs, RSI, all that stuff. Those are our indicators. When I'm hovering on the chart, it's going to be hovering over each individual candlestick. And if I was over the line, if I go to the line chart, each individual day or each individual time frame, depending upon the time frame that I'm looking at. In this case, I have the past year pulled up. So it's showing me the past year on the stock market. We go back to that candlestick chart. You'll get the O for open, C for close. H for high, and then L for low of the day. You'll see the percentage change on the day, whether it's up or down, the volume, how many shares were traded on that day, then your, then your indicators, and it will tell you the prices on that specific day, where the moving average 50, the 50 period moving average is, where the moving average 200, the 200 period moving average is, and it will give you an RSI reading as well, based on those indicators being the ones that I have overlaid on my chart. So, that's how you read that on the left-hand side. But let's say I wanted to change up these indicators, add some new ones. What the heck do I have at my disposal? Well, first off, let's dive into those. So Robinhood has seven indicators available. You have volume, moving average, exponential moving average, EMAs, uh, RSI, relative strength, moving average convergence, divergence, also known as MACD, volume weighted average price, VWAP. I would highly recommend VWAP. And then Bollinger Bands, B-O-L-L. So here's where we are on Robinhood, at least what they offer as of right now. If I wanted to add some of those things to my chart, let me actually go over to the past one day to show you guys today's price action across the S&P 500. So we had pre-market this morning, we open up, push to the upside, and then, you know, kind of been pulling back a little bit and then push up into the close as well. And we have after hours right here. The bulk of the trading is indicated by the higher volume on the chart. I know it's like tougher to see. It's not super bright, but that's right down here. And then we have pre-market and after hours where we have less volume, but we have we do have some price action during those times as well. Also, we have our times on the bottom of our chart and the times are indicated in your current time zone. So for me, I'm in central time. The market opens at 8.30 a.m. So we see the volumes are coming in here at 8.30, but traditionally 9.30 a.m. Eastern time is when the market opens. So you should see the higher volume from 9.30 Eastern all the way to about 4 p.m. Eastern. But that's why for me, it's from about 8.30 to about 3 p.m on my chart. So let's go over to the indicator tab and let's start adding some indicators. So I have some moving averages, the 50 and the 200. If I wanted to change those, they'll already assign me some. I can kind of get rid of some of these guys. If I wanted to hit the trash, get rid of that moving average 10. If I don't like it, if I don't like looking at the MACD, I'm going to go into the settings tab and I'm going to 
delete it right there. So that's all I have to do. But let's just say I wanted to add or edit. I'll go click on the add button and I'll add what I wanted to add. Let's say I wanted to add a moving average 100, okay? So I'll go in here, it adds a moving average to the bottom. I can adjust, uh, now I go to the settings tab and I can now adjust and go to period and make that 100. So boom, just like that, I am now done. Pretty simple to do. It's, it's really not that complicated in terms of how you have to edit or how you can edit these things. Now, if I wanted to add other features, let's say I want to add the VWAP, go into VWAP, click on the settings, and uh, that's all I'm going to be able to do is add it, and it will stay, it will currently, there is not a way that I am seeing right now to change that color, to change this. It's going to kind of add it at whatever color that they want to add it as, which is kind of a pain in the ass, but it is what it is. If I wanted to add, let's say, I don't know, an exponential moving average, I'll go to EMA, go in here, add that in. I don't want to do that right now. Let's say I want to go change around or mess around with the RSI. If I go into the RSI, I can customize this a little bit. So I can have the RSI set to a period of 14, overbought being 70 and oversold being 30. This is kind of standard, um, the standard settings. You can change this as you see fit, but these are the standard settings for the RSI. So I'm gonna leave those as they are and the RSI pops up at the bottom of our screen. Okay, um, there's a couple other things I could add. Let's add a couple other ones. Let's add some Bollinger Bands. I can again add, change the length here and then also change the width if I wanted to as well. But those are kind of standard numbers you're gonna generally see. So let's get rid of that because that kind of clogs the chart up. It's like too much going on in the chart. But that's kind of how it goes. It's, that's pretty much what you need to know in terms of how to use this. Uh, if I click on this little eye uh, symbol, it'll get rid of that on the chart, whatever indicator that I'm hovering over. Does it really matter? You know, I guess you can delete it or you can kind of just get rid of them if you want to clean the chart up and not have to look at any indicators for a second, you know, cover these up and, you know, hide them if you would like to. And so you can hide all the indicators if you if you think that that's, you know, useful to you. So that's one thing you can do. Uh, at the bottom is level two market data. So if you have access uh, or if you have Robinhood Gold, you're going to get some in-depth uh, order books and you're going to also get some in-depth depth charts. Take a look at this. If it was during the day and we have a video already on the channel going over how to get access to this and we dive a little bit deeper into this. If it was during the trading day, you're going to have more information here on the order books and level two. And it's going to be this. This is going to provide some more insight to where the orders are stacking up um, below the bids and above the ask on a given stock on a given day um, at a given time. So that's something you can also use. And that is essentially in a nutshell. Uh, Robin Hood's technical indicators that they've been building out. So if you want to do technical analysis, now there are a few more indicators you can choose from. And again, back to that list, here is the current list of what they offer you. Nothing crazy, but it is some basic stuff and, you know, moving averages, RSI, VWAP. I mean, to be honest, that's all I like to use. I don't like to use too, too much. So I keep it pretty simple. And so for me, it kind of does the job in terms of what I need. And then outside of that, I draw my own support resistance lines in. But unfortunately, as of now, you can't add your own support resistance lines, which is kind of unfortunate, but you can't do that. So, you know, un until they can allow you to start drawing lines, indicators, or at least now they have some more indicators, but drawing lines, drawing trend lines. Yeah, I guess that's the next step that Robinhood would need to take. But with that said, Thanks so much for watching. Any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. There'll be some links to get free stocks on Robinhood if you want to check out a different platform that has a lot more where it comes to charting and indicators, drawing features. I mean, the best of the best. That will be TradingView. We'll leave that one down below. Here's a look at TradingView. Um, a lot more where that came from on TradingView. And a lot of people like to pair up their broker with TradingView and use this to chart and then their broker to execute the orders. That's something to think about. There'll be a link to TradingView for a 30-day free trial down below in the video description box and pinned comment. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hit the thumbs up, consider subscribing, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.